जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दल बो डाउन रीजा मद कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन
श्री गणेश मंत्र In this meditative state we will now hear Shumata ji's speech and how it resides within us and how we are lost in the curtains of maya today i'm going to tell you how we get to that spirit there are two types of methods people employ in finding out that spirit one is called as anavopai and another one is called as shaktopai anu means a molecule when we are lost in the maya as i told you last time actually the spirit is eternal it is all powerful it never loses its power whether we are old young whatever condition we may be the spirit has its own power all the time but the reflection of the spirit in us the light of the spirit in us 
depends on the quality of our reflector, how we are. And because of the quality being so poor sometimes, darkness is created within us. And in that darkness, we do not know, sometimes even to that extent, that there is something beyond. So the first style of seeking is anavopai, as you call it, or which is depending on separating molecules after molecules. Because under these circumstances, when you are surrounded by darkness, you see spirit just as a molecule or you can say spark or a flicker. Sometimes you just get a flicker of it. As you know, the thoughts arise within us and fade away. We see the thoughts rising and fading away. And there are many thoughts all around us. Our attention is on those thoughts moving all the time. It is very hard to find that space in between two thoughts. That's why what we see is just a flicker, you can call it, or a little atom of that spirit, sometimes sparkling. And then the search starts among human beings. From that darkness, from Tamoguna, they start searching. And the Kriya starts within us. So we can see in the left hand side, as you see the Iranadi, by which we live in Tamoguna, in desiring for it. And then we move to the right hand side on the Pingala Nadi, in which we act. In that action, we try to find the Spirit. Of course, first we think it is in getting material advancement that you will find that spirit, that flicker. And so we go in for material advancement. Now material advance, advancement is very different from the spirit, spiritual advancement. Or we can say the material happening, what we see like a plane landing or a plane taking off or a collision of two trains or any such happenings are outside and spiritual happening is within. Our attention is always attracted towards outside happenings and it is an impossibility to take this attention inside. That is why something has to happen within us to attract that attention inside. We cannot force our attention inside. So people try normally, the anavopai is that, what you call Ashtanga Yoga and other yogas, by which they try separating themselves from myth, from darkness. For which you need very astute, honest, sincere people. Very young, celibate, innocent people, those who have to live in the forest with their gurus. So they keep out their attention which is called as Nirodha, they stop their attention spreading itself, they concentrate their attention with the help of a realized soul. If you come to India, you'll meet some real sages like that who live on top of hills and mountains who are not easily available to people. They do not sell their 
religion or they do not sell their realization to people. Hidden away from the madding crowd, they exist there. One of them has told Samoni Sahajogis that he has practiced Anavopai for 21,000 years from when he was just a frog. It's fantastic that he carried on for 21,000 years every year, life he was born. And still he cannot raise the Kundalini of others very easily. Still he does not have the power to raise the Kundalini the way you Sahajogis can raise. It's most surprising. He has given realization to only one person, only one in 25 years he worked on him, the same way Anohopai. These are the people who are detached, Vita Ragas. Not that you have to run away from anywhere, but living in the society only you can achieve it through our Sahaja Yoga or Maha Yoga. This is Shaktopai. But these people still are afraid to come in the cities because they could not make people understand. They do not trust human beings, they want to keep away from them. They are not married, they lead a celibate life, they live up to two hundred years sometimes, sometimes thousand years also. But it is a very individualistic movement, works on one or two people. Births after births they cleanse themselves. This is Anavopai. So the search for the Divine or for the Spirit has been on for ages now, it's not a new thing that we are doing here. And you also have been seeking that Divine in your previous lives and many lives before. But you must know that for seeking, you have to go inside, it's not outside. And how do you go inside is the problem. Some people say that if you go on suggesting, I'm going inside, you go inside. It's all imagination. Because when the attention is out, the knower and the knowledge, both are different. Like if I see this thing now, for example, if I'm not a realized soul, I'll see this one and I will just think, how much they must have paid for it, what is it made of, uh, from where did they get it, all sorts of these superficial things as you can call it. At the most somebody might say it's very aesthetically placed and it has very great balance and all that, at the most. But it is all outside because the knower who knows about it is outside the knowledge. So there's a tremendous difference between the happening outside and happening inside. When you see a train colliding, you'll say, oh, look at this, what is this they have done, this driver is wrong and that these uh, people have suffered so much and all sorts of things, they'll start collecting money, whatever we do normally, you see. But the knowledge about it, is outside the knower that is yourself. But when the spiritual happening takes place, the knowledge and the knower become one. For example, now this machine that is here, to a normal person, as I told you, will be uh, it is so much, it costs so much, or whatever it is. But to a realized soul it would be, is it vibrating? Is it emitting vibrations? What sort of vibration it is emitting? It is good or bad? Because then you start understanding it according to spiritual value and not according to material value. I hope you understand this point. Spiritual value is an absolute value. And what is the measure of that is the spiritual joy. 
The vibrations give you spiritual joy. The good vibrations, I mean. What are good vibrations are nothing. But the coefficients of this whole thing is, is emitting through it the all-pervading power which is giving you joy. It is an absolute value. You take ten children who are realized souls, you tie their head, eyes and ask them to put their hands towards one person. All of them will show you the same finger which is burning, whichever is the chakra they are catching. There will be no confusion, no second opinion about it, no quarreling, because that's what it is. Because the knower and the knowledge is the same. That is why when our attention is outside and we are seeking something or knowing something, then we start seeing it according to our thinking. And who does the thinking is Mr. Ego or maybe Super Ego? We are not there to think about it. So anything you give them, say for example, you marry two persons in modern times. So they'll sit down and work it out. How can you work out a marriage with your brains? It's a question of your heart. Just enjoy it. You give them food, they'll sit down and work it out. Start analyzing it. They cannot synthesize it. The food will get cold, it will lose all its taste and the whole thing will be wasted. They make the same thing out of their lives. For nothing at all they create problems by thinking. Analysis starts outside, synthesis starts inside. Now this Nirodhai is the withdrawing of your attention inside, as I told you is only po possible through a happening within. Now how do you get the happening within yourself? For example, I am talking to you, you are paying attention to me. Supposing something falls down, immediately your attention goes to that happening. So there has to be some happening within. Now what is that happening is Kundalini Yoga. And this Kundalini Yoga is the Shaktopai, is the is known as Shakti path, is the giving of the Shakti. Very few are entitled with this. I mean, today these are all selling Shaktis there. They have their ashramas and this, that, they are talking of Shakti, uh, and then people start dancing, jumping, screaming like possessed people. That is not Shakti at all. Only a person of a very high quality can raise the Kundalini because he is to be authorized by God. It's a very rare thing to give reali realization to people. Only such people who have been authorized by God can just move the Kundalini straight forward. So the Anavopai is a very slow action, is for few individuals who get out of this maya, this illusion, and tell people that this is all illusion, it's a mirage, you're running after a mirage. Don't run after this mirage. But still, people can't believe them. They crucify them, they poison them, they beat them, they do all kinds of things to them. I mean, they did not do any harm to anyone whatsoever. That they should be treated so badly by human beings. So, it is to be understood that your attention has to be sucked in. The Nirodha has to work out. Not by denying things, don't look at the women, don't look at the gold, don't look at things, your attention will be spoiled, not by those methods. Or by taking you to the jungles, leading you a celibate life, making a very holy atmosphere around and just uh, forcing you that you do not see that is evil. 
But when you see it again, you go back to the same. There's no immunity developed. So the attention, when is sucked in by Kundalini rising, the first thing you notice is that there is dilatation of the pupil. Now, dilatation of the pupil will cause kind of a blindness, normally. There was a lady doctor who had come for her realization to me once, and I tried to raise her Kundalini, it wouldn't go beyond Agya. While she was driving, suddenly she felt that her eyes were dilating, and she couldn't see. So she took her car on one side, and she, she said, for about a minute, I just could not see anything, I was quite worried. I felt my dilatation of the pupil is taking place, and I was worried about it, that have I become blind? And then again, you know, she got back. But when she went back, she was seeing much better, and there was a sparkle in her eyes, eyes were sparkling. She telephoned to me, she said, does it happen? I said, yes. To attract your attention from outside in word, Kundalini does that to you, that she dilates your pupil. Now the doctors may come on my head and say that it is a parasympathetic or a sympathetic action. They do not know, they are not yet decided. You know. It's the action of Kundalini. They don't know about Kundalini. Even if you show them pulsating, they will not believe it. They don't want to believe it. They want to remain outside in ignorance. All of them are like that. Now everybody is saying that now outside battles are over, we have to have battle inside. We have to fight ourselves. Anywhere you go, they will say that we must uh, find our wholesomeness. Oh, big lectures, you know, conferences after conferences, people are talking so big, talk, 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 talk. But when it comes to reality that you can have it, it's a very slow movement, still better than Anavopai. By Anavopai who are living in the city, they will not reach anywhere. They cannot. If you try to do all those things, if you do not have a realized soul as your guru and also the atmosphere, either you will get into ego or into super-ego. You will have a problem there, either onto the left or onto the right. Supposing you tell them, now don't drink, don't smoke, immediately you will get conditioned and Mr. Freud will stand up and say, see, you are conditioned, you should have all the freedom. All right. So you go ahead, do whatever you please. So your Mr. Ego will become like a big balloon on your head, you see, if you do whatever you please. And then you have a big forehead coming out, eating everyone out like that. <laughs> and I have given a nice speech on Mr. Ego, how it tries to strangle everyone and how we are raising against everyone. This Mr. Ego gives us the feeling that we are something, and it is, that is the one which keeps us in bondage of ignorance. And it's like, I sometimes feel like the fist of a boxer, you know. Anybody tries to go near it, it gives you a bang, bang. Anybody tries to say anything about it, it will come out with a big bang on your head. So if you do not pay attention to your ego and say, no, 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 I must not eat this, I must not do this, I must not do that, finished, you go on to the left-hand side and then you get the conditioning and then you may fall into the traps of Mr. Rajneesh or someone like that who is conditioning you. And you cannot get out of it. You try your level best. You cannot get out of it. Because they entrap you with their hypnosis. You go into your superego, you are hypnotized, you are possessed and whatever you may try, all such people are very difficult for Sahaja Yoga. They think, I don't know what they are doing. But it is not my knowing, it is your knowing is the point, the loser is within you and the winner is also within you. It is you have to gain, not me. Sahaja Yoga is not for me at all, I don't have to do it. It is for you to do it, to gain that knowledge which is yourself. Only thing I can do is the Shakti path. But actually I don't do it either, I can tell you. I don't do anything, I'm just sitting quiet. 
It just emits. What can I do? That's my nature. It just flows. It works out that way. But we want, because of our ego, we want all challenges. Supposing I tell you tomorrow that you can only get it by jumping hundred times, you will immediately start doing that. If I tell you, say, on a, another sort of a efficiency trip, that supposing you do it hundred jumps in five minutes, you will get it faster, you will do that. Or else I give you another kind of a prologan, as they call it, temptation. Like you put five rupees today, then I say, no, no, you better put ten rupees. Then you put that. It's like you're running a horse, you know. Please. See how superficially we look at this. In this superficiality, we are going to get lost completely. If you are really seeking, then you find it and be there and get it. This is your own. We talk big. I find very, I mean, I meet the people who are the cream of every nation, I should say, cream. And they are creaming each other, that's all. <laughs> Nothing more than that. They do not want to go deeper into it and talking about, oh, we understand there has to be a Messiah, there has to be something must happen. To us, we should all become wholesome. Now they are finding uh, fanaticism is troubling them, so they are saying, oh, these fanatics are there. Now we are all fanatics when we are outside. I mean, if you ask me, they look like mad people to me. Such extremists, all attention outside, And an arrangement has been made within you, as I told you, of Kundalini being placed at the triangular bone there. It's so beautiful it is constructed. Just see the beauty of the Kundalini. Even in seeking, we have gone all out to torture our Kundalini. We are not honest to ourselves. And to our mother, the Kundalini, the one who is sitting there for us to give us our realization, our rebirth, she is there. You can see for yourself with your naked eyes. For example, some one of the Sir Yogis who is a doctor went and talked to the doctors. I said, Now what are they doing? They said, They said, Yes, we know, we got the cool breeze in the hand, all right. Then and yes, we see, we, we know there is uh, something pulsating in the triangular bone. Then does it not intrigue you? But still, how can that be self realization? I mean, it is beyond anyone to drink water for others and digest it and enjoy it. You can take somebody to the water, make them drink, push them down into it, but if they just refuse, then what can you do?
महामंत्रास
we thank you shumata ji for this beautiful collective morning meditation let us all bow down raise our mother kundalini and put bandhan We'll join again tomorrow at the same time for the collective morning meditation. Jai Shri Mataji.